Welcome back everyone, today we are going to clean some very dirty ether. For this, dirty ether and iron 2 sulfate solution are needed. The iron 2 sulfate might actually contain a lot of iron 3 sulfate, but it should be okay. Not a lot of editing went in today's video because I didn't plan to film it in the first place, but if you want to watch it, feel free to do so and if you don't, it's also okay. First of all, why is this ether so dirty? It might be pooxides, it might be very fine sodium hydroxide, but what's most likely is that it is polymerized acetaldehyde. The iron 2 sulfate was added to reduce the pooxide and to make it harmless. It also reacted with some of the sodium hydroxide because you can see that very brown iron hydroxide was formed. The bottle was shaken for about 2 minutes, afterwards it was left to stand for about an hour and then I used a very crude centrifuging method aka I just tied a rope to the bottle and swung it around to make the iron hydroxide and the ether layer separate. The ether was decanted into this Erlmeyer flask as best as I could, some crap made it over, but we added distilled water afterwards, shook it up and burnt whatever of the ether, sodium hydroxide and iron hydroxide stuff was left. Everything was then transferred back to the bottle, which is now clean and dry, and it contains some potassium hydroxide to dry the ether and to get rid of peroxides. The ether still looks a little bit dirty, but I'm not going to purify it any further and I'm not going to test it for peroxides. We should have removed most of the peroxides, but why am I still not testing it? Well, I will neither use it for any reactions, nor for any extractions, and therefore it won't be distilled and peroxides won't be any problem. Besides that, I have an entire liter of fresh ether and it's not worth distilling or cleaning this other ether. It's however good enough for underwater explosions and for just setting it on fire and therefore I'm going to keep it. Anyways, I wish all of you a nice day, until next time.